Sally, I want to talk about what happened between your dad and I, with the divorce and everything. All right. I realize the past few months have been really hard on you and I'm sorry. I handled it very wrong. Did I do something wrong, Mommy? Am I the reason you and Daddy aren't together anymore? No, sweetie. Mommy was very selfish and inconsiderate, that's all. I don't want you to ever do what I did. Who exactly was Chris? He was an old friend from high school. We ran into each other and he wanted to take me out to dinner. He thought it'd be harmless. Why couldn't you just tell Dad? You always had me lie for you. Whenever Dad would go away for a business trip, you would see Chris, never when Dad was home. When Dad came home and asked you what you did, you never told him about Chris. I don't understand. I was trying to protect your dad by just not telling him. I knew it would hurt his feelings and that what I was doing was wrong. In an article called Parental Relationships in Fragile Families in the journal titled The Future of Children by Sarah McLanahan, I read that 10.4% of married women can be trusted, unfortunately. Why did you do it in the first place? I don't know to be honest. In my mind I was just having dinner with a friend from high school. Then we just kept going to more and more dinners and movies and things got complicated. It was very wrong though, don't do what mommy did. You left me mommy, why did you leave me? You told me you'd be back the next day and you didn't. You just left. I felt abandoned. I just had to get away. I had to figure out what I wanted and reflect on what I had done to you and your dad. I never stopped loving you or your dad. I'll always be here for you, no matter what. To give you an idea, I read an article titled The Impact of Divorce on Children in the Journal of Marriage and Family by David H. Demo and Alan C. Ocock, that 70 of why children will live with one parent for some period of time prior to age 18. It didn't feel like you loved us. I was such a happy 10-year-old, and now I don't feel like I can't trust you. We never know if and when you are going to leave or if you'll marry someone else. I feel bad for Daddy. I miss you and Daddy together. It's hard to explain, honey. I love your dad as a person, but I'm not in love with him anymore. Sometimes that just happens with two people. However, I shouldn't have handled it the way I did and I regret it. I heard Dad ask you not to see Chris anymore though. After you went to dinner the first time, you promised that you wouldn't see him again. Then the next time Daddy went away, I watched you get in Chris' car. When Dad asked you about it later, you lied to him and said you didn't see him. I know, I'm sorry you had to hear all that. I'm sure it bothered you. It really did, Mom. I thought it was my fault. I tried telling you I'd do the dishes and clean my room every day. Nothing worked. Nothing made you want to come home. I don't know how to trust anyone now. I'm confused and angry too. How could you do that to daddy? How could you leave me? All these emotions you're feeling are normal. I'll never forgive myself for doing this to you or your father. I know the divorce itself is hard on you. I read an article called The Consequences of Divorce for Adults and Children that's slightly on Journal of Marriage and Family by Paul R. Amato that more than half of all divorces involve children under the age of 18. You're not the only kid going through this so don't feel alone.